Question number 25 from the specimen paper 2 of the IGCSE 2020. Um, in this question here, we are asked to complete the square um, to find the turning point of this quadratic you know, equation, this quadratic function. Okay, y equals x squared plus 4x minus 3. Find the turning point by completing the square. As we, you should have learnt by now in this uh, new syllabus as well that you can find uh, the turning point of a function by differentiating and setting the differential to zero where the gradient, when you differentiate, you find the gradient function. At the turning point, the gradient is equal to zero. You can equate it to zero and they can find the x value of the turning point and then find the y value of the turning point by substituting the x value back into the original function. However, here they have specifically told us to find the turning point by completing the square. So you should be familiar with and comfortable with doing this in whichever way they ask us to. So now we need to use the completing the square to do this. I'm going to explain at the end why completing the square gives us the form which helps us to find the turning point. First, let's just complete the square. Now, this is a pretty simple example. When you complete the square, you want to write it so you have a bracket which is squared. Okay, so you think about, what I do is I think about these two terms and I don't think about the last term until afterwards. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as x because when I square x, I get x squared. And I know that this is the middle term when I have a squared bracket. The x term is the middle term which represents the sum of the, this number here added to itself or twice this number here in this case which is a squared bracket. So I'm going to put plus and I'm going to put 2. Okay, so if I, if I expanded this, I'd get x squared plus 4x plus 4. So I've got the x squared plus 4x part here, but I don't want the plus 4 because we don't have the plus 4 here. I'm just, I'm just dealing with this right now. We don't have a plus 4 here. We only have x squared plus 4x. So if I expand this, I'm going to get x squared plus 4x plus 4. So I'm going to take away 4. So now this is the same exactly what's boxed here. They have exactly the same value. If I expand this, I'm going to get x squared plus 4x. All right, it was going to be x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 4, which is x squared plus 4x. But there's a minus 3 at the end, which I have to write. And we're almost there. So you have y equals x plus 2 squared minus 7. Now, this is a form which will help us to find the turning point of this, um, this particular equation of this graph. It's quadratic. The reason being, the turning point means its highest or lowest value. Now, this is, whoops, this is y equals a positive x squared. The x, the, the x is, the x squared is a positive term. If the x squared is a positive term, it's going to open upwards, smiley face. Positive, smiley face. Negative, frowny face. So it's going to be opening upwards. So therefore, it's going to have a minimum value. The turning point will be a minimum, be the lowest value that it can possibly take. So if you look at this expression here, the lowest value it can ever, the y can ever be is minus 7. And the reason for that is x plus 2 squared, whatever happens in this bracket, it's always going to be squared. So even if it ends up as being a negative value, it's going to be squared. So it's going to become something positive. So you have something positive minus 7, it's going to be something which is, you know, it's going to be higher than minus 7. Like minus, if this is say 3 minus 7, it's going to be, you know, minus 4. It's going to be something that's bigger than minus 7. So the lowest value this can ever be is minus 7. So the lowest y value is going to be minus 7. And what's the value of x for which that becomes minus 7? Well, that's when this bracket here becomes 0. 0 minus 7 is going to be the, you know, the lowest it can be. So what value of x makes this 0? If I put x equals minus 2. x plus 2 becomes 0 when x is minus 2. So there we have the turning point. Now, some people just memorize it, the vertex, you take the same as this sign and you take the opposite of what's in here. So it's x plus 2, it's going to, you're going to put a minus 2. But that's the actual reason for it because x equals minus 2 is what causes this bracket to become 0 which leaves you with the lowest value that this expression can be which is minus 7 because the lowest this can ever be is 0. It can never be lower than 0. You will never, for example, get minus 1 minus 7 because whatever happens here even if this is negative inside the bracket it's going to be squared and become positive okay so i hope that's clear for you 
That's using completing the square in order to find the vertex. Okay, thank you for watching. And other questions in this paper are found from the playlist, which is linked in the description below. Um, thank you for watching.